Joining me now from Southern California, president of Wilsey Asset Management, Brent Wilsey. Brent, you know, it's interesting. Market Watch had an article defending uh, effectively Elizabeth Warren saying, you know what? Hey, you know, you pay off student loan debts and it helps these these young people. Of course it helps these young people. But there's a couple of problems uh, with that. Number one, it doesn't teach them responsibility, does it? If somebody else yeah. rides to the rescue and pays off uh, their personal debt. And by the way, this is no different in my mind than credit card debt. Somebody rides to the rescue and pays off their personal debt. There's no responsibility. Number two, the other is you and me. We're the producers. We're the people who are going to be paying for that debt. <laughs> well, and that's so true, Graham. And, and again, I, I like what that guy said. And my biggest complaint here is those people agreed to pay the debt. They should stand behind the word and the contract. And he's so right, too. A lot of college students, oh, it's free money. They go out, buy new cars, right. go on vacations, have a great life. Now it's time to pay. But let's educate the American people about some other things that won't be good if they actually do forgive this debt because the IRS is not going to be happy. The IRS says, wait a minute, a forgiven debt will increase your income. Mm. And that can do many things to families because you may be getting earned income now because you're still struggling, got three kids. Well, now you have extra income. They're going to lose their earned income. It can also raise your income. So now you don't qualify to do an IRA. Mm. And, and, I, and then there's going to be interest and penalties because you got to pay that tax all at once, not over payments. And I did notice that uh, both Sanders and Warren said, oh, well, we think we can change that. I don't think they're going to change the IRS. And let's also talk about the credit scores. They could ruin their credit scores because that could be the only uh, credit that they have. That's gone. But if they're behind in payments, that'll still be there. It, it's just not a good thing. There's things that people don't realize. And yes, it sounds great. Pay off the debt. It's much better. It's wrong. And it will hurt them, which I'm glad it's going to hurt them because they owe that money. Right, exactly. And, and those are all good points you brought up. But it's it's the bigger notion that I worry about that we're, we're taking from somebody, a producer, and, and paying off somebody else's debt that they chose uh, to impose upon themselves. Nobody had a gun to their head to go to college. Now, Yelp, um, a lot of people use Yelp, right? And there's this new Yelp economic indicator, which kind of caught my eye. And I started <laughs> to think about it, uh, Brent. There, it's not exactly, uh, I would call, a scientific survey. And, 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 and this economic indicator is warning that the activity, economic activity is going to slump in the fourth quarter or, I guess, going into the new year. Yelp is volunteer-based, right? Uh, and so it's not exactly scientific. These are people who want to be on Yelp. They use Yelp. They're giving their opinion on Yelp, and they're giving their opinion on the economy. Yeah, and, and, and again, the data comes from, like, millions of local businesses. But what well, my thing is tens of millions of users. Now, Graham, I don't use Yelp. A lot of people my age don't use Yelp. So what you're getting, you're getting a slated view of the younger economy, so yeah. not an overall thing. And, and that, to me, is not a good indicator. And also, there's no history in this data what is the data they're using? No baseline. I don't like this. Now, I will say maybe in the future it could be used, maybe kind of look at it, maybe account for 1% of what they do. But I'm still sticking to the normal data that we get for the economy from the University of Michigan, the government, the Labor uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics. That's what I'm going to use. Yelp, we don't know the data, no history. I'm not going to give any credence at this point in time. Use Yelp to evaluate those chili french fries but evaluating the economy, move on to something that's more reliable like Brent Wilsey. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.